I would like to talk about how you can implement your single link list in Java. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is basically create a class of node and uh, you would like to make it a generic type so that it can be used with any type of data. And so the data is going to be of type T and uh, it essentially points to the next node. That's what uh, link list is, single link node is pointing to the next node. So the first function you can easily implement in this in, uh, is a class called link list and it has a type so that's easy enough. And in the link list, uh, once it's installed or instantiated, you want to keep track of the head. So that's I have a variable node type to head. And I provided a simple method called insert and we are inserting a value. So the way this works is that inside the method, we get a new object of node type and we set the data for that to be whatever the value is and we modify essentially the next uh, reference in that new node if the head was null then the next was obviously going to be null otherwise we will change the next to be the head and we change the head to be object so that's all you need to do in the insert so i provided a simple method to do an integer test it will insert an integer from 0 to a 9 essentially in a link list uh, nine times. So if you print the link list, it's going to print from nine to zero. And the way to print is, is basically you get a temporary node uh, traversal to the head. And while traversal is not null, you can just keep printing the data and set traversal to be traversal.next. So if I just do this, I should be able to uh, show you what it is doing and let's say I clear the my console data here and just do a quick run. So you can see that it's gone through the linked list and is printing nine through zero and this is what we expected. So the other function I have actually created for testing is to essentially uh, reverse the list and link not reverse and reverse is pretty straightforward and I'll show you what it is. It's basically taking the original linked list uh, creating a new linked list and setting the head to be the original linked list head and while the traversal is going on keep inserting into the new linked list whatever node we are extracting from it so that way we'll get a reversal and uh, if I just run this through you can see it, it when I print it again it's going to start printing from 0 through 9 so that's an actually an easy way uh, if you want to use generics with linked list simply linked list and hopefully uh, that is helpful to you. If you want to know more, you can go and search for Java uh, link list uh, and I'll put the, my video there. Thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.